Φίλε και φίλοι, χρόνια πολλά. Καλά Χριστούγεννα. Έχουμε μαζί μα τον Σάλα Μέζρη, τον Τινίσιο Διεθνή Center τη Real Madrid. Σάλα, first of all, welcome in Athens and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. How is traveling and spending you know, these days you know, by playing basketball, even though most of uh, all the other people is spending time with the families you know, for the holidays? We prefer to spend it with our families, you know. Especially for the people who celebrate it, I don't celebrate it because I'm in a different religion. But I always, I always like uh, enjoy being with, the, like the, always my teammates invite invite me to go spend it with them. So yeah, it's it's hard, but I, I don't think it's the first time, you know. So in the NBA, you were used. Exactly. So <laughs> it's not the first time, and it's our job. We have to be professional. We have to do our job and accept it, you know. This season you came back uh, to Europe after four years uh, in the NBA and you found uh, a brand new Euroleague uh, with uh, a new format. Do you prefer this type of Euroleague uh, that you found uh, this year or the Euroleague that you had when you were playing back in uh, 2015? I think they're both, both different, you know, um, and they're both competitive. Uh, but uh, I think the idea of Euroleague is go to be like the NBA, you know, which is, I think, the model and the best league in the world. And I think it's better for the teams to play everybody because sometimes if there is two groups, sometimes some teams you never see them, you never play them. Yeah. And I think it's, it's good, it's more games to play and it's more competitive. There is no strong team and okay team. I think it's like the NBA, everybody can beat everybody, you know? Exactly, this is the <coughs> thing, you know, that it seems that every week every team can beat against um, everyone, uh, except Real Madrid, uh, because you guys are winning like uh, 10 games in a row. <laughs> yeah, but we, we, lost, we lost against uh, Zalgiris, I think. With their, you remember? Like... You know, it's like uh, one month and a half ago. <laughs> yes, yes, I actually like, uh, I just signed by then. I didn't. I didn't go with the team, but uh, I was hurt. Even against Panathinaikos, uh, uh, you haven't lost as Real Madrid the last eight games, and especially in a hostile environment like uh, Waka, uh, Madrid uh, won the last uh, three games. What do you think about tomorrow's game? Well, that's a, that's a motivation for uh, Panathinaikos to beat us tomorrow. No. <laughs> It's always it's always good to play in Greece, you know. Whether it's Panathinaikos or Olympiakos, it's a great atmosphere, you know. It's the the arenas are always full. The fans are. I love I love the way the fans are here, you know. They're different from all Europe. So it's always a competitive game. Before you go to the NBA, there was a chance to sign with Panathinaikos. Yes. Yeah, uh, I had the contract in my phone actually, <laughs> in my email, and. Um, My agent sent it to me, and I was about to to sign, but then the NBA uh, called. I mean, some agent from my first agent that I was with before uh, from Dallas. He called me, and he was like, "Dallas is interested." And then I went there. I hope the Panathinaikos fan does, doesn't kill me for this. I'm sorry, but you know, every, like, like just like the teams, the players is always looking for his. For his good too, you know, and yeah. I think four years for me in the NBA was was a great experience. After, after this experience uh, in the NBA, do you think that it's fair to say that Real Madrid, it's probably the only European team that can be competitive in the NBA? It's like an NBA team in Euroleague. I don't want to to, to exclude other teams from that, you know, yeah. because there, for sure there is like five, six teams who can play in the NBA. I mean, let's say. Atlanta Hawks, for example, now they're not doing great, you know. They haven't been doing great the last couple of seasons, and I think Real Madrid or I mean Dallas Mavericks, the past two years maybe, <laughs> too, we weren't doing great, you know. Yeah. So maybe Real Madrid or I don't know other teams can 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 do the same in uh, in the NBA or maybe better, you know. Uh, how about the NBA? Do you miss it a little bit or a lot? I mean, I'm still getting used to to Europe, you know. Uh, I'm happy to be back, and four years in the NBA was great. I missed it a little bit, of course. You know, the it's it's hard to change what what you've been uh, getting for four years. You know, but uh, of course, I miss my friends. I miss the atmosphere. I miss a lot of things. But there is other things that I, <laughs> I don't miss too. You know. You saw Luca developing uh, in his uh, early time in uh, in Madrid. 
Uh, you played with him last year in his rookie season, and you see what he's doing so far this year. Um, we, do you think that we are talking about uh, a rare version of a basketball player who is born probably once in 50 years? For sure. For sure, Luca is like something special, you know? Even like the coaches, I still talk to them and they're like, your guy is special, you know? He's, for his age, for his very short experience in the professional basketball, you know, how long Luca played in, in Europe? Three, four, four, four years. And that's, that's not enough, I think, for a player to be mature as Luca, as Luca he is right now. Uh, he's right now. And he, it's only his second year in the NBA and people are talking about him being in the, in the MVP. MVP race, you know, that's, that's special. And I think Luca deserves everything. He's not doing it for the fame, he's not doing it for the money. I know the kid, I mean, he, maybe he stayed in my house more than he stayed in his house last year when I was in Dallas. Uh, he's, he's doing it for the challenge, you know. He loves basketball, he loves playing basketball. And I know that Luca is doing it for the challenge because every night we play a big name, we, some, somebody will go to him, a coach or player, he's saying, oh, for example, LeBron's going to kill you tonight. Oh, OK, we'll see. And then he goes, he got triple double with he's the 40 points. He's very motivated. So he's very motivated every time we play some big names. Luca or Giannis? Oof. Uh, we are in Greece, right? <laughs> Luca then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last but not least. Uh, you were voted best athlete of the year in Tunisia. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest honors of your career? This is the second time. Uh, it's, it's funny that I have never been in the list. For the four years I've been in, uh, in the NBA, not yeah. even in the list. Yeah. It's a huge honor for sure, you know, it's like a personal thing, but for sure like to be uh, chosen between a lot of good athletes who are like world championship in their sports, especially the individual sports, we have a lot of cham world champions. Uh, it's a honor for me and for sure that doesn't uh, take it away from the other athletes. But for, for sure, all of us, the five or six guys who are in the list, for sure every one of us deserve it.